Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And this is going to be a relaxation session. And there will be two versions, one with and one without music. So I'd like you to get yourself comfortable. Now, if you're listening to this laying down, um, just a warning that you may fall asleep because I am incredibly boring. So you may fall asleep. Also, uh, so if you've got something you need to do, I'd suggest you set your alarm. Um, If you're sitting in a chair, make sure the chair is comfortable and supports your body if you was to fall asleep. So that's the uh, main, the main thing really. I'd like you to focus on how you feel right now. Starting with your mind. How do you feel in your mind? How is your mind feeling? If you was going to give it a measurement from being heavy to light, you know, how heavy would it be from 10 being the heaviest it could be and 1 being really light? What would it be at the moment? And if you're not sure what I mean by the word heavy, I mean weighed down with worries, weighed down with uh, concerns from the past or concerns about the future, weighed down with stress. That's, that's what I mean by the weight. What would you give it at the moment? What weight would you give it at the moment? From being 10, being, you know, the most it could weigh. And one being practically nothing. So I'd like you to try and remember that just for the future. Not, I mean, I don't mean for 10 years time, but for, you know, the... So you can kind of get a gauge of how it's changed at the end of the recording. But I won't be asking you to check it. So you can do that in your own time. Because, um, you know, when this recording's finished, you may choose to sort of uh, think back to like, okay, where am I now compared to where I was before you decided, decided to listen to this recording and allow those relaxation changes to occur naturally within you so that the the weight changes and we're going to take this literally i like being literal so i'm going to take this as a very literal thing as if it really is physically physically heavy Okay, so what I'm going to do, I want you to imagine that you've got a crane and you're going to move this weight from your mind. Just going to move it. I'm going to put it down on the grass. It's this big, big weight. Now, it could be any shape you want, whatever shape comes into your mind when you lift it up with the crane and you just let it fall to the ground gently. There's no, you know, we're being gentle with it. And you can see this shape. Maybe you can see it's got different colors and it might be made up of different kinds of things. Maybe made of metal maybe made of cotton, maybe made of cardboard, a bit of wood, some wires. It could be lots of different things. So 
what I'm going to ask you to do in your mind is just turn it into ice. Turn that shape into ice in your mind. So the ice just on that grass in a garden. And no matter how big that shape is, the grass is, you know, it's, it's enough room to uh, to hold that ice because you know the grass is on the earth and the earth is a pretty pretty good at uh, holding things up and in the sky the sun is shining brightly on that ice So at the moment, you could walk up to it, try and lift it. And apart from being slippery, because as ice is, it's probably going to be too heavy to lift. That's why we needed that crane to lift it up. So that lets you know that there was too much. There was too much stress, too much negativity in your mind at that time. This now has been removed, this now on the grass over there. But it was too much, and you can see, you can see and feel why it was too much and why it was a bit of a burden because of the size of it and the weight of it was just overbearing. You know, it's too big, you couldn't even get around it. Never mind, pick it up. So you can just leave it in the hot sun to do what ice does when the sun is shining on it. And we can come back to how you feel. How you feel with that big block of ice, that heavy burden, that heavy thing that was inside your mind is now removed and is on that grass being well it's less basically it's being melted by the sun I mean what else would it do uh, it's hardly like it's not going to start dancing is it it's, it's going to start melting if it did start dancing then hey that's alright too so Notice how you feel. Right now, with that weight removed. Notice how you feel physically. With that weight removed from your mind. Literally physically removed from your mind no longer there it's over on the grass melting in the hot sun and notice how much more room there is in your mind you can literally like walk around it you realize that there's so much in there. There's so much room. And now that all that stuff that was clogging it up, you know, all that heavy, heavy uh, combination of maybe worries, concerns, uh, stress, anxiety, trauma, whatever was there, it's now removed and it's now on the grass. You know, we turned it into ice and now it's melting in the sun, which allows you to move around inside your mind and it allows the, you know, it's a little bit like the scene. Now, this is a, if you haven't seen the, um, the Wizard of Oz, then I'll explain the scene. But there's a scene in The Wizard of Oz where Dorothy lands in Oz 
her house lands on the wicked witch and the good witch floats down in a bubble and you hear some ruffling you know in the bushes and the good witch says it's okay you can come out it's safe and all the munchkins come out and start dancing and singing they're happy look a bit strange but yeah I think they had uh, dietary problems but anyway they come out and they're very happy and it's a little bit like that but without the witches and the house and the munchkins I mean, you could say it's nothing like that but you can notice that positive thoughts start to come out where before they perhaps didn't feel welcome Firstly, uh, maybe there wasn't room to manoeuvre. But you know how it can get sometimes when it can be a club, it can be any kind of situation where if a group of people can end up taking over and the other people maybe start stop going because it's no longer fun. So the positive thoughts maybe were keeping their distance. Perhaps didn't want to be contaminated by the negativity. But also didn't didn't know if it was welcome. They might not have known if they were welcome to be in your mind. Because of the the focus perhaps on the stress that was there before and the effect that that perhaps used to have on you in the past. Now the positivity can step in and then more positivity. And then you've got other feelings that pop in, feelings of gratitude, feelings of love, feelings of kindness towards yourself, feelings of like an uplifting feeling, pleasurable feelings that are no longer blocked from expressing themselves. It's almost like there's a party going on in your mind, a party of joy, comfort, deep relaxation spreading through your body as well is now the it can sort of stimulate the parts of your brain to send those signals down your spine and then to every part of your body to feel relaxed and comfortable and actually to feel kind of happy feeling good for no good reason just feeling good and as those feelings start to grow more of this positivity turns up inside your mind And you look around and you, you see it doing something. What Some of the positivity, they're doing something, but you're not quite sure what it is. And you realise that they're now boarding up the big hole that was used to remove that big, heavy block of negativity and stress and anxiety It's now been removed. So they're now blocking up that hole. They're blocking it so that nothing, basically so it can't be put back in. They're rebuilding their house of positivity. In fact, it's not really a house. It's 
like the biggest mansion you could ever imagine. Like a whole world within itself because the mind is bigger than the universe. Infinite. So it's very magical. It's a very magical space. It's a very magical feeling. And it feels nice. And then as you look over and you look at the that ice that was on the grass and it's less than half the size that it was before. And as you watch that You can feel uh, this feeling connected, knowing that that was the past. Knowing that you you don't don't have to feel those feelings anymore. Realizing that. The future is yours and you can decide to feel and to fill yourself with positivity and happiness, confidence, increasing your self-esteem, which in turn spreads relaxation throughout your body. In such a deep level. It's almost like the bones. uh, Your blood even. Skin. The muscles. Has all been replaced. With positivity. And relaxation. As you continue to watch that ice melting, and you can wave goodbye, knowing that that negativity that was causing you problems in the past has now been turned into water, which now means. It's going to be helping that grass to grow. Which means it's been turned into positivity. Because water giving life and sustenance to grass on the ground, helping it grow and helping the other you know, the other animals to drink the worms and all the different animals that are uh, creepy crawlies that rely on the the moistness of the the ground and the grass the animals that depend on the grass to, to live on like cows and goats so that water has been transformed thanks to you it's been transformed into a healing positive energy a healing positive life giving energy and there's something nice about that something really nice about that because Nothing's been destroyed. There's no sense of destruction. Because 
even though you removed those stresses and strains and that big heavy weight that was, you know, pushing you down, that was removed and then put onto the grass. You turned it into ice and the, the hot sun melted that down into water. But nothing was destroyed. It was converted, it was transformed into something beautiful. Which just goes to show that any negative thoughts can be transformed and changed into something different. And even as we speak, you know that your mind is being rebuilt by all those positive thoughts, wishing you all the wellness in the world. All those positive thoughts in your mind Becoming your cheerleader. You have the biggest, biggest group of cheerleaders in the whole world. Millions and millions of cheerleaders cheering you on, wishing only the best for you. Wishing happiness, health, deep relaxation, calmness. Not just in your mind, but throughout your body and spreading forward into the future. Shining the light forward so that you can see in your mind's eye that the future is already positive. Because that shining light is shining those those positive thoughts forward clearing the way for you to where you wish to be to live the life that you wish to live and to be happy to be healthy and to be kind to yourself remembering really to be nice to yourself Because it's so important. After all this positivity that's filled your mind. Feels so nice. As that just overflows. Overflows out of your scalp, the top of your head flowing out that positivity all down the back of your head down in your back all the way down to your buttocks and also spreading down your face your arms, your shoulders, your chest, your stomach all the way down your legs and to your feet and toes your arms and your hands and fingers spreading that healing energy of positivity and deep relaxation deep deep relaxation sink in sink in deep into your skin deep deep inside you Calming down all of your internal organs, relaxing and healing every inch of your body, outside and in, every part of your mind, uh, 
And as you notice your head becomes transparent and you can see your brain through your head and you notice that that positivity and healing energy for relaxation now spreads to your brain covering your brain and soaking deep inside deep healing deep relaxation filled with an unlimited supply of positivity for you and for your future. And as I count down from five to one, you're going to feel even more relaxed, even more comfortable, even more deeply positive in every single particle of your existence. Now, five, four, three, two, 